Hello guys and welcome to the Otspedia channel. Time to learn about another strategy that can be used to manage your bankroll, the Kelly Criterion. This one is the most preferred betting strategy to manage your bankroll by professional bettors. It's a bit more complicated but might help you to place your stakes. So now let's take a look at it and learn more about the Kelly Criterion. Everything now. We've spoken already about some strategies that can be used to place your stakes. Most of them are more used in casino games. Martingale, Paroli, D'Alembert. Now it's time to learn about the Kelly Criterion. This one is more suitable for sports betting, but it's a bit more complex than the other ones. The Kelly Criterion is also known as the Scientific Gambling Method or the Kelly Strategy. In this case, we are going to use a mathematical formula to calculate your stakes. It can deliver a higher return in the long haul than any other system. So let's see the formula now. Okay, don't worry if you are not a great at mathematics, neither am I. So let me explain to you what this means. We need to know how much of our bankroll to bet. This is F. So we have to multiply the decimal odds minus one for the probability of winning minus the probability of losing, all divided by decimal odds. You can check the formula in the description box and we also have a page in our Oddspedia website where you can see more details about this formula. So don't be scared. Our goal is not to go broke and know how to manage our bankroll. Let's put an example from a betting perspective. We have a good wager with odds 3.0. Therefore, our probability of winning is 0.40 and the probability of losing is 0.60. So this is our formula again. According to the Kelly Criterion, you should stake the 20% of your bankroll in your proposed uh, wager. While the chances of it failing are greater than the chances of it succeeding, it is a bet with a positive expected value due to the favorable odd sizes. Doing this, in theory, of course, means the overall returns will be higher in the long run and the overall losses will be lower. As we were saying, this is slightly more complicated than Martingale or Paroli systems, for instance. There are some positive aspects of using this Kelly criterion, though. It offers good protection against losses. You lose less in case of prolonged series of failures as the bank decreases with a decrease in the subsequent stake allows you to earn frequently. A higher bankroll increases the rate, which enables you to significantly increase the gain. By the way, if you wonder where this strategy comes from, this criterion was invented by John Larry Kelly Jr., an American who developed this strategy in New Jersey in the 20th century. I want to know your opinion about the Kelly criterion. Have you ever heard about it? Do you use it? Tell me your opinion and your thoughts about the Kelly Criterion. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon.